My name is H.A. Goodman. I'm an author, columnist, and journalist. And to read all my writing, go to counterpropa.com. Support the site through the Amazon links and donate button at counterpropa. Share the petition below. Get it to 100,000 signatures. It's almost at 6,000 right now. It's to get the DNC to give its computer service to the FBI. One reason that Trump should never have been investigated in the first place is that the entire Russian hacking myth, conspiracy theory, is predicated upon CrowdStrike's view of what took place with DNC servers. The DNC has never given anyone in the U.S. government their servers to analyze. The FBI requested their servers. The DNC refused, denied their request. How many times does the FBI request something from you and you just say, nah, nah, just go ahead and sanction countries and uh, accuse people of treason, but you're not going to look at the servers that are allegedly hacked. You're just going to trust a firm that we find. Imagine if the tables were reversed and Trump had a firm, uh, a tech firm, to further his talking points. Get that petition to at least 10,000 signatures. It's below. Donald Trump sent note to C sent note to CNN boss Jeff Zucker threatening to get even. So Trump, it's Trump battles CNN. Trump is battling CNN. You are the most disloyal person, Trump wrote after the second presidential debate in last October, according to the New York Times. This is April sixth, uh, SFGate.com. I'll put the link below. After the second presidential debate last October, Donald Trump sent CNN Worldwide President Jeff Zucker a personal email. You are the most disloyal person, vowing to quote get even. This is the big story, one of the big stories in the New York Times now, in addition to all, the whole unmasking fiasco. The Times reported that Trump, quote, believed he had gotten Zuckerberg, Zuckerberg, Zucker his job at CNN, an assertion Time Warner executives have denied, and therefore, quote, the network's increasingly aggressive coverage of him was an act of betrayal. CNN literally was Clinton News Network, and first they went after Bernie Sanders, we know Donna Brazil fed questions to Hillary Clinton. It wasn't the other, other way around. It wasn't Brazil giving questions to Bernie, God forbid. God forbid. It was Brazil giving questions to Hillary Clinton before a debate with Bernie. And then CNN cut ties with Donna Brazil. See how that works? WikiLeaks emails discloses, uh, unveils corruption. There's, there are repercussions that the Russians have nothing to do with. CNN cut ties with Donna Brazil. It should be noted the Times also reported Trump actually didn't play a meaningful role in Zucker's hiring. However, Trump sang Zucker's praises to Turner Broadcasting Systems chief executive at the time, Phil Kent, who was in charge of hiring for the position. Now, the interesting thing is this. Zucker's history with Trump goes back more than a decade. In 2003, Zucker was in charge of NBC Entertainment and had been sent to Los Angeles by his brass to find a reality show to vie with Survivor on CBS and American Idol on Fox. He found it in The Apprentice, which helped launch its host, Donald Trump, to nationwide celebrity. Since winning the election, Trump has regularly called, regularly called CNN fake news and criticized the coverage he received. So Zucker helped Trump, but Trump also helped Zucker in terms of The Apprentice. The Apprentice helped everybody involved with that show, very big show. It's one of the reasons that Trump is president now, but it's also one of the reasons that Zucker is very powerful at CNN. Almost certainly Trump had something to do with that guy getting his job at CNN or running CNN, almost certainly. You don't just get a billionaire to sing your praises and then it doesn't affect um, the people at Turner. I would like Trump to actually go after these networks in terms of facts, fact-checking, and their bias. With Hillary Clinton, she was the most qualified candidate, according to almost every panelist on CNN. I was on CNN. Very fortunately, they gave me uh, a segment. I was with Victor Blackwell, New Day, in the morning, and I wrote an article that Hillary Clinton embodied white privilege. And Bernie had to actually work for, for what he achieved. And we debated, and that, that's on my website, hagoodman.com. So at times, they do let people like H. A. Goodman or other people uh, discuss different views. But generally, generally, CNN was very, very pro-Clinton. Not necessarily pro-progressive, 
pro Hillary Clinton. Everything was Trump evil, Trump will destroy the planet, Trump this, Trump that. It was always Clinton can save us from Trump. Hillary uh, is, you know, a flawed candidate, not a criminal. And they harped forever on the audio, 2005 audio of Trump touching you know what. I think that it's not, it wouldn't be unfair for Trump to call out either their hypocrisy or bias. I'm not saying go after individual journalists, no. But I'm saying that he's justified because this is like a high school, this is like one big high school um, rivalry. You have the cool kids or the, the, the cool crowd going against maybe another cool crowd or another person they don't like and uniting with everybody to try to kick that one person out of school only problem is that one person is now president of the United States of America. So the media united, everyone united, the political establishment, all the pundits are trying to impeach him. They can't. They tried to get him uh, to lose. They couldn't. He's now president. And it's just unbelievable. Everything you see, whether it's CNN or any New York Times, Washington Post, it's like everyone gets the same memo. And it's not news. It's not news. It is propaganda. So if he goes after the propaganda in terms of, hey, you know what, Hillary was never qualified because of X, Y, and Z, or I'm not, I have nothing to do with Russia because of X, Y, and Z, and the fact that they've been investigating me forever, that's what he should do. Not go after specific journalists. He shouldn't do that. But Trump should go after networks or media that he thinks through facts or through extreme bias one way or another it, uh, covers him in a very um, in a manner that's the antithesis of journalism and more public relations for the Democratic Party. Give me your thoughts below. Thank you so much for listening.